Hello. I don't think you understand the assignment, Leonelli. You're supposed to lick it, not chew it. All right. I think. Let's see what the ground is like. I don't know if we'll be able to go on this bottom bit. Uh, and when we get a bit further up, we should be okay. And hopefully we're gonna have a nice little warm-up canter up here. Yeah, see this bit's too wet, darling. And then the plan is that we're gonna go up the hill again. Hopefully this time it'll be a little bit quieter. Oh, yeah, she's up for it. Drop time. Yeah, hopefully this time it'll be a little bit quieter up there and we can actually do some canter work, is the plan. Because Miss Uppity Pants here definitely needs it. Go on then. Good girl. Steady. Steady. Good girl. Well done, honey. Good job. Good girl. So I think road users officially think I'm nuts right now. Um, some of the batteries for my GoPro are a bit glitchy and um, sometimes you basically have to give the camera a smack. Uh, to get the battery to connect in the right place so the GoPro will turn on. So yeah, just been riding at the road, smacking myself on the side of the head and people are looking at me like, what? <laughs> ah, it's fine. I have to uphold my image of insanity somehow, right? Well, I would signal, but there's a bush in the way. There we go, now I can signal. What a Nelly new. See, there's not many cars here today. This looks promising. Yeah. Much promising. Much promising? Much more promising. That's the right sentence. <laughs> the only thing is, though, there is another parking space at the other end of this hill, um, and you do tend to get more people parking over there. But I think we should be okay. I mean, it's like lunchtime-ish, midweek. So, you know, most people should be at work. I think we should have missed the early morning dog walkers um, and the, like the people who like to go out and do their cycling and their jogging and all of that before they go to work. We should have missed all them. The kids aren't out of school yet. Um, most people who are going to be working late shifts are going to be home by now getting ready to go to work kind of thing. And everybody who's kind of on an early shift uh, is still going to be at work. So in theory, this should be the perfect time of the day for us to get up here and actually do some proper exercise with these horses. Um, in theory, I could be proven wrong, who knows, but hopefully we can um, we can get a bit of canter work in with this girl because she so desperately needs it. Like, she's not particularly great on her cardio at the moment. Um, where she had a bit of a downtime over Christmas um, and I didn't really keep up with that regular riding with her. She She's getting out of puff a bit easy, bless her, but she'll get it back pretty quickly now we're back to regular riding. Um, but she just needs, she needs the fast work to satisfy her crazy little mare brain she's got going on. Like nothing else satisfies this horse. You can do all the trotting in the world. You can school her six days a week. You can do anything, but nothing makes this horse happy like going out for a good gallop. So that's what we're going to do. And she'll be lovely and happy and mellow when we're done. How not you, bird? Providing there's not too many people up here again, of course. Oh, it's really nice up here, though. I love coming up in the woods. I really do. Absolutely love it. It's such a peaceful place when there's not hundreds of people up here, of course. <laughs> good girl. Oh, yeah, she's out of breath already, bless her. She's enthusiastic though, she's good. The thing with Nelly is she doesn't tend to stop unless she's absolutely hanging. Like every now and then she will decide that she needs a little breather and she'll stop and just have a little rest. But more often than not, I have to sort of pick a stop point and just let her chill for a minute and catch her breath. Um, we might have to do that today before we get to the top of this hill, but that's cool. Oh, 
Oh, she's getting sweaty behind her ears already. That's because somebody still hasn't given you a haircut, have they, Nelly? Good girl, Nelly. Well done, babe. Well, we haven't seen a single person yet. Well, there's nobody behind us. And I can't hear any people. This is looking promising. Oh, you okay? Yeah, I see she needs a breather there. Good job, babe. Oh, this is so nice. I love it when the trees drop their leaves and you can see their shapes. It's really cool. It's gonna look very different up here in a few months. Very, very different. Not a bad view, is it, bird? You ready? Oh, well done. I didn't even ask her to go then. She was just like, yep, I'm cool, let's go. Good job, babe. I love all these like gnarly roots that you can see on the, um, on the banks as well. That's always really cool to look at. See, what I really need to do is I need to get back to a place of like all of the horses coming up here a minimum of once a week. Like preferably twice a week is the sweet spot. Like it doesn't just have to be here. Like we've got the other big hill as well, the one with the golf course on the top. Um, but yeah, ideally twice a week is seems to be the magic sweet spot. And then you do like a, a couple of short hacks or a couple of schooling sessions around that. And they will be in amazing shape doing that. But that will prove difficult. Once we've got a little bit more daylight in the evenings, it will prove a lot easier, however. Oh, well done, honey. You're doing real good, babe. Good job. Um, yeah, so that's, that's kind of the goal. I need to figure out a way of doing that. Um, yeah. I need to figure out how I'm going to fit that in. Because, I mean, these rides, really, they're probably like good two-hour rides, really. Um, so that is quite a big chunk of the day when you're working as well. But it's, it's doable, it's definitely doable. Are you having a tiny tantrum, babe? Huh? What are you doing? Oh, you want to eat the leaves? Is that what this is all about? Yeah, she wants to eat the leaves. She was angry because I didn't give her enough rain to eat the leaves. You're supposed to be catching your breath, not stuffing your face, bird. I actually can't feel my toes right now. I have the thickest socks on and I still can't feel my toes. I don't know what the solution to this is. Like my hands are great. These gloves are amazing. My body is warm. This coat is amazing, but my feet, my feet are freezing. It's not nice. I would like recommendations, please. If anybody can suggest a good pair of like thermal socks that actually work, that actually fit into boots. <laughs> Um, that will be great, because uh, I'm tired of having cold, frosty toes. Oh, I still can't see anyone, but I feel like I can smell someone's perfume. It's definitely not me that smells like perfume. <laughs> looking good Nelly oh yeah it is so peaceful up here man this is lush this is so nice oh no I can see a person over there okay I'm going down the track though the plan is I want to go to the end of here and then we're going to go up the long track towards the monument providing there's no um fleshy obstacles in the way. Hopefully that's just the only person who's up here. Can't see anyone else, can't hear anyone else. Oh, 
Oh, steady up, babe. Look at that. A bit slippery. <laughs> Hi. Were there any people up there while you guys were up there? Excellent. <laughs> Go on then. Oh, did he stop bronking? Oh, where are we going? We're going on the rough bit. Oh. Oh, there's mud flying everywhere. <laughs> oh, I dread to think of the carnage we've left behind us. Oh, steady. Gentle braking. I don't want a skid stop, thank you. Whoa. Whoa, bloody hell. Yeah, that's what I... Jesus! Whoa! <laughs> well, you haven't done one of them for a while, have you? Flipping heck, Nelly. That's a big skid. <laughs> so Nelly, Nelly kind of has this thing that she always used to do. She hasn't done it for a while. Um, Whenever we go out to do canter work and we're on like restricted tracks, you know, where we can go a short way, but then we have to stop. Um, she kind of like gets a little bit cheeky. I try to start slowing her down before we get to the end of the track. And she's like, no, let's keep going full speed. Like we've got more track left yet. It's cool, let's keep going. And um, we kind of de unintentionally developed this habit where, uh, we would kind of go faster, 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 right until the last minute. And then she'd finally decide that, okay, yeah, it's probably a good idea to put the brakes on now. And she'd do like a Western style skid stop. That is so many times, like she absolutely perfected it. And um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure that one was intentional, but <laughs> well, you haven't done that for a while, have you gorgeous? Do you feel good now, huh? Is that what you needed? That's what you needed, good girl. See, that's what winter horses need. They need to blow off some steam. Oh, that's windy and cold. It's very nice up here though. Look at that view. Very, very nice. Don't hold your breath, silly. Stop holding your breath. There you go, dopey. Right. Would you like to go round again or are you done? Right, let's catch our breath a bit more, yeah? Good girl. Stop holding your breath, dopey. It's not normal. Oh, nearly do. Just stand, stand and breathe. The quicker you catch your breath, the sooner we can go again. Oh, you're a dog, that's annoying. Go away, dog. And she's holding her breath again, fantastic. Right, are you good? I think you have actually caught it now, haven't you? Right. Oh, crumbs. Are we ready? Let's play a fun little game, huh? No, I don't want you to go backwards. Ready, steady, go. Guys are probably getting the worst view of this ever. <laughs> oh. Going into a light seat while going uphill basically means my head almost overtakes hers. <laughs> She's got such a short neck, bless her. Oh, are we done now? Yeah, we're done, huh? Good girl.